All right. What we're going to see here is this is what we got planned here. I'll show you what we got for parts. Right here, we have a couple of fun things. A gate water pump that we're going to install along with a gate Tommy belt. So I'm pretty sure that's the part number for that. That's the part number for that. This stuff did come from here. We found that we could order it on there. It's pretty decent. Price pretty good. Shipped really fast. And what happened here is I think this is going to show it off. I'm going to have to get the flashlight. What happened is, uh, I was sitting there idling and just shut off. Warm it up first thing in the morning, shut off, won't crank. Um, you'll see, kind of. The one tiny marks on this side, the other side we don't have one, it's not lined up, so something, we're assuming something's off. Um, I think the car has, let me see, double check the mileage. The car has 112, so it's about due, I mean an eighth of the mileage, usually you want to do around 100,000. That way you can see how I do it and how it works for me. I didn't get a chance to review it online to see if anybody else missed anything or to actually show something different, which I'll get a chance to watch some of them. We're going to address a couple other issues here while we're in here. This is a common issue problem. People run these things, no heat shield on the turbos. They build heat and then it melts this. We got another one, we're going to throw that on. And uh, I think he said something else. We're going to do something else in here too. Maybe clean up some of the other things. Ball them in here. You want a channel <clears throat> All right. As I said, we're, we're getting in here. We're tearing this apart. We pulled both spindles. The one was actually, we did find some issues with the spindles, so we are, we're addressing them now. But usually we just pull them, lay them off to the side. That way your axles are here. We're going to undo this here and the motor mount. And we'll have to undo the center mount, which this one has a solid center mount, so it'll be a little fun. Come over onto this side. This side's already undone. Everything will be out of the way. We have the trans mount bolt here. What we're going to do is we're going to string a chain across from the alternator nut. If we can get it down here, across the top, over to here. And we're going to support it with the engine crane. Once we get all this stuff unbolted, and that will allow us to move the motor off to the right a little bit. So we got this out of the way, because that will hold us up. So we're going to do some of these cables over here. We just need to get it over far enough so that we can get this bracket over. What will happen is we'll get it over and it will probably move over this far, which is why I undo the axles. It's I'm not sure. A lot of people, they'll fight that bracket out with it like this, jacking it up and down against the rail. It's just easier sometimes to move stuff out of the way. And then you can get right at it. All right, so we're going to do that stuff. We'll get the, the engine hoist hooked up. And we'll get a snapshot of that. Okay, so we removed the intake, just laid it off to the side. So we get down in here and remove the bolts that hold this, which actually hold them on to this motor plate bracket here. They bolt in here. Okay, so now with that removed, we can get in here. We can totally remove, we remove the side bracket, the upper bracket. Got the motor mount pushed back out of the way. So this gives us room to get in here. Um, I couldn't find my right chain. 
uh, misplaced it somewhere. So I found this one, which was a little smaller. I ended up having it was too small to go over the bolt, so I ended up just using a double-ended wrench, just spur of the moment thing, so we could get this moved over. The exhaust is removed because we're fixing some other things that are going on here. But you don't really need to remove that to be able to do this. Like I said, we were going to remove everything on both sides. See? There's that side. Now, here's this side. We got it dropped down. The axle here, this one lays on top of the engine cradle. But you get it down and you can get it moved over. We actually, well, I actually, usually I just use like a little smaller cable and I actually hook it to the car. But I'm working under a carport. So I was able to hook this to the side and I just kind of put a couple cranks on it and I pulled the motor and transmission to the driver's side to give me access to get down in here. Um, what we did do to see what the issue was is we got down here and we started to rotate the crank stuff moved a little bit and then it came back around can't see in here because I don't have a light but we were, we found that we did have some t teeth missing off of the belt because this would get to that one spot but if you look in here you can start to see the threads in the belt and there's all kinds of uh, belt debris in here because this is probably the original belt the miles are unknown on this motor because it's not the original motor for the vehicle just found that out last night too so we're going to put everything back in time after we get the lower crank pull we pulled off and we'll get it uh, reassembled and hope that nothing got damaged uh, some say yeah stuff could get damaged others say no so I think we're on the better side of being no. But we'll we'll find out soon. There we go. Alright. We got the um Yep, that thing. Balancer. Dampener at the end, not not really a balancer because they're balanced internally. What we did was we used a three jaw gear puller okay and the way you got to use these is you get all all the teeth down in there the three jaws and you bolt you pull this out far enough and then you make sure it's threaded in good so that you don't push it through the threads and screw the threads up on the end of this or the crank then you put the center of that on there and then you can pull this off I've had the right tool but three uses and uh it broke so we're back to using the gear pour but anyway here's what the inside of this looked like we got what looks like teeth off the belt a couple of those nice and dirty and then in here if you look here's some teeth here's no teeth Hard to see. Yep, right there. And then you can see teeth and no teeth. So this belt pretty much was worn out, not replaced before it should have been. And that's basically basically the issue we're at now. So we're gonna tear this off. Um, we gotta drain the radiator yet and um, pull the water pump off. We'll get the water pump replaced. Which is this. Got to take this cover off to get to that. And the tensioner and the idler. We'll get that stuff out of the way because we got that new. And then we'll pull the cover off and then we'll get that reassembled. And then we'll get everything lined back up. Theoretically, if you're doing this, what you want to do is... There's timing marks. It's on here. And then it's up in here. And then on the top... We looked at the top gears. We know they got to line up. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put this in the middle so that all four pistons are down. And then realign the upper 
upper two you can rotate the cams completely all the way around and you shouldn't have any interference with anything so but seeing as we don't know where the cams were and we know this spun and made plenty of rotations trying to start the vehicle it's gonna kinda be what it's gonna be so we'll get everything back together and we'll line it up and cross our fingers and see what happens okay we I removed this bracket here so that I could use an air gun with a socket on to break these loose so it didn't spin them. I could hold them with a rag real easy it broke them loose. Back gear, front gear. Um, this is the tensioner without the pulley on. Here's where the idler goes. Here's your water pump. Alright, we had to take all that stuff off so that we could get this removed. One bolt here, 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 and there's two here, and then these are eight, and then these two are thirteens. And you can look up in here at this. Like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get everything cleaned up. I gotta drain the coolant yet. We'll unbolt the water pump. We'll get that installed. We'll unbolt the one bolt here for the tensioner. We'll get our new tensioner installed. And I'll show you what it looks like before I put the cover back on. I'm going to clean the cover and stuff up too. That way, I, you know, you don't want no debris or oil or anything getting on your belt. Kind of makes it not last as long. So we'll get all that stuff cleaned out there too. Alright. Alrighty. Water pump's removed. Timing tensioner is removed. Top. Cleaned everything up. He's good to go there. Down here, we have, I pulled the bolts out of the old water pump and I stuck them back into where they're supposed to go. Here's our new tensioner, belt, idler, We've got this cleaned up. Here's all our old stuff, missing teeth, old, 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 old gasket. This old style has what they call, I guess it's plastic. Let's say plastic. Newer ones, they're aluminum, they're metal. They're supposed to actually flow more, I think, too. So we'll get this stuff back on and then we'll uh, give you a snapshot before we stick the uh, cover on with the water pump and the tensioner on. And then uh, we'll get this thing up and running. All right, we now have our tensioner and our water pump is installed. I stuck one of the, the bracket bolts through here to hold it in place while I was putting that one in. Now we're gonna have to remove this. Right now, we're actually ready to uh, install the plastic shield that goes in behind. We're going to get our cam gears installed. Okay, we got our back was installed, cam gears were installed, tensioner was installed. We lined everything up. I start down around the belt. I come up around this side. I turn this back a little bit. I like to use these. Hold them in place. I used a wrench on here and a socket on the other side and I had a third hand which really helped out. Grab this out here. But anyway, I get that one lined up. And I put this one on. And I get that hooked up here. Get my tension on. I did rotate it around twice. Right here is the Tommy Marks. I'm trying to get this camera down. Right up nice and close. Okay. Air is going up. Air is going up. Two, four, two, four. See? Right there. They're lined up. Down here. We have an arrow on the crank. Arrow on the old pump. That stuff's lined up. I did two full rotations. Everything comes back up on top where it's supposed to. Now we're going to get the inside of this cleaned up and the top cover, which has a little bit of a little bit of gunk in it here. We'll get this stuff cleaned up. We'll get that stuff reassembled. We'll stick our side bracket on and we'll try to line this up. This will be fun. I guess this is DCR solid mount. So we'll get this lined up first, 
and then we'll do the transmission side and then we'll do our lateral mounts um, so basically real quick we're gonna get our covers back on when I install this I put it on I usually um, usually you want to try you want to if anything you want to hit it in the middle I like to hit this with a rubber mallet and get it drove on as far as possible before I like trying to pull it on with the bolt because I hate to do that because you could stretch threads so it's one of those things you just got to wait and see all right we'll go from there I don't know if I skipped a step here but uh, we got um, top covers on cleaned it out got this reinstalled we did line up our center mount we got that bolt in here we got to finish installing this all of our cover was installed all the bolts all the way around um, we installed our center mount plate the three bolts for that we need to screw this here in yet and this stuff needs to get back together but that's where we're at <clears throat> we'll get our lower damper in and then we got to get our uh, this thing's a little rough over here these bolts which I'm sure is a common thing. These bolts here don't like to come out. I could take the time and heat on this with the uh, torch and get all these out and make sure that this is absolutely right and extract that one bolt. But right now we're just trying to get the lum out, line back up the way that they had it, 